somebody says barber, more often than not, you're gonna imagine a, an older gentleman in a white smock, not a redheaded girl in a dirty apron. You get old school, new school, right? You get people that just like the salon atmosphere. You know, that's, that's fine. But some people like the old time barbershop. Yeah, barbershop experience with the barbershop haircuts and the, the banter and it goes on in the shop and uh, we just have a lot of fun. You know, some people are more purists. They're like, no, no, hair salon is hair salon, barbering is barbering. I, I like to think that I'm part of the newer generation who thinks that, you know, it can be both. I think that the barbering and, and, and salons are different. I mean, people are personalities, you know, what kind of personality are the individuals? It has its challenges, but being a girl in any industry does. I think I'm better for it. People ask me, why do I do what I do? It's as a passion because I love the expression of people's face when they, they turn to the mirror and, they, and you know, I give them a fantastic haircut and um, I believe in, in the little things. Just giving that special touch, you know, I, I always say that haircuts are, to me, like you rough it in like an artist, you rough it in, do the work and you do the polish, you do the little extras, right, to just make it like a picture, you touch up, make sure it looks nice and perfect. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm working on perfection all the time because that's what drives me. Everyone recognizes the red, blue, and white um, and knows, you know, it's a barber shop. Since the good old days um, with straight razors, I mean, everyone gets a new blade now. Infection control, that's come a long way. Everything we do, we try to pay homage to our forefathers, but at the same time, we're a new generation, we're hungrier, we're less stubborn, we're open to trying new things, we're not stuck in our ways.